In this, in this video, we're going through the Violin 2 part to Aztec Warrior with some helpful hints and tips. Make sure that in the top left corner of your paper, it says Violin 2 or Violin II. At the beginning of this piece, we see a thick black line and a 2 above it. That's telling us that we have two measures of rest. And each measure is four beats. So if we have two measures of four beats each, that's going to be eight beats. Once we do that, we come in on our high D in measure three. So we count to eight and then we come in on our high D. And we go down the D scale, making sure that once we get to the D string, we get there cleanly and quickly, but then we do our half notes. Let's count to eight for our eight beats of rest, for our two measures of rest, and then start at measure three. One, two, ready, count to eight. High D, C sharp, B, A, G, F sharp. It's important that the G and the F sharp get there on time, but are also nice long half notes. Let's do that again, but we'll also do the F sharp, F sharp, the T, T, rest, and that we have all the way through the rest of the first line. Here's the first line. One, two, ready, count your rests. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. High D, C sharp, B, A, G. Rest and F sharp, F sharp, rest and F sharp, F sharp, rest and F sharp, F sharp, rest and. It's important that you know that there are four of those. There are four pairs of F sharps. Another important thing that you can do during those F sharp quick, quick notes that we have is play the F sharp, but bring, as you're doing it, bring your third finger over to the A string. That way you're ready for the high D at the beginning of the second line. As you're playing the high D, you will need to sneak your other fingers over once you're done with the F sharps, so you can go high D, C sharp, B, A. But if you play F sharp, 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 high D, C sharp, B, A, that way you're just more prepared. Right now, let's play the first line, and as you play the F sharps towards the end of the first line, get your ring finger onto the A string. Here's the beginning, one, two, count your measures of rest. Rest and, rest and, rest and, rest and. My third finger was already there during the F sharp TTs. I just put it over and had it ready, and then I snuck my other fingers over. As I said, make sure you remember that there are four sets of F sharp, F sharp. Otherwise, if you start doing five of them, you'll be late to the high D, and that can really throw off yourself and the people around you. Let's now go from the beginning to 11. One, two, count your two measures of rest. Are you ready? Here it is. Rest and. Rest and. Get your Heidi ready. Here it is. It's convenient that both going into the second line and going into 11, you're getting a high D ready. The high D at 11 is different, however. We can see that it's not colored in. That's a half note. So once you get to 11, yes, get your high D ready like we've been doing, but say in your head, So you don't accidentally do quarter notes and go too fast. Let's do the second line into the third line um, and practice going to those half notes at 11. So this is line two. There's a little seven because that's measure seven. Line two, one, two, line two, ready, go. F sharp, rest and, rest and. Get your high D ready, here it is. Half note, half note, half note. Half note, next line, G, 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 and stop there. At 11, you're doing the same pattern at the beginning that you did at 3. But the difference at 11 is that they're half notes. It honestly gives you a little bit more time to catch your breath. What does change is on the next line, on the third line, you have four Gs in a row. You might want to write in the Gs there because you might be tempted to go down to F sharp and to finish the whole D scale. What's also interesting at 11 is we start with four measures of half notes and then we do two measures of quarter notes and we're playing pretty similar notes. So make a big difference between your half notes right at 11 and when you change to quarter notes at what is measure 15. Let's play from 11 to the end of the second line. 
When you have a rest, please say shh out loud. Here's 11 with our half notes. One, two, 11, go. Half note, half note, half note, half note, half note, half note, half note. Now high D, C sharp, C sharp, B, B, A, A, E, E, sh, sh, E, E, D, D, sh, A, A, sh. From the end of that line, you've got to jump your eyes down to measure 39, where you see another high D. It's often about preparing high Ds in this song. Let's do measure 17. 17 is the second to last measure of the third line. It's where you have E, E, sh, sh. It's where you see those two rests in a row. Let's do 17. One and two, 17 and 18. E, E, sh, sh. E, E, D, D, sh. A, A, jump to 39. High D, C sharp. Um, so it's that measure, and then you jump to 39 with a high D. Again, 17, one and two, 17, E, E. E, E, sh, sh. E, E, D, D, sh. A, A, high D, 39. Half note, half note. Rest and, rest and. Get your high D ready, here it is. Bottom line, rest and, rest and. Rest and, rest and. When you get to 47, this is the first time that you don't have to get a high D ready after your F sharp TTs. TT is what I sometimes call eighth notes, those quick, quick bows. At 47, you're just going to continue with an F sharp that you've been doing. And you have four quarter notes and two half notes. So the rhythm is like what you have at measure three. I, D, C sharp, B, A, G, F sharp. But the letters have changed a bit. We have F sharp, G, A, A, G, F sharp. So the rhythm's the same, but the letters are a little bit different. Let's play 47 with our F sharp. One, two, ready, go. F sharp, G, A, A, G, F sharp, and stop there. I really recommend when you play the open A's in measure 47, I recommend leaving your G on the D string and just moving your bow to the A string. And doing a tunnel there. So let's try 47 again and try to leave your F sharp and G on the D string while you play A. Here's 47, one and two and ready, go. F sharp, G, tunnel, A, A, G, F sharp, last measure, F, 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 F. And those are all F sharps, I just decided to say F instead. Let's play the last measure again, all F sharps. Ready, go. F, 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 F. And bring your bow off the string on the last note. Last measure, all F sharps, ready, go. F, 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 F. You'll also notice in the last measure, under two of the notes, there are dots. Those dots are staccato dots, telling you to play those notes short, kind of like a roba. Let's try it. One, two, last measure, all F sharps. Short, eighth, eighth, short. Again, last measure, short notes, go. Short, eighth, eighth, short. Let's play all 47, 47, 48, 49, and notice that alligator mouth. That's telling you to get louder and louder as you play. So start a little quieter to make it really dramatic. Here's 47. One and two and ready, go. F sharp, G, A, A, G, F sharp, F, 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 F. And that was the violin two part to Aztec Warrior with some helpful hints.